Okay, so we've cut out the fabric and we've laid the fabric down onto the top of the guitar and we're just mixing up the resin. So we've got two things to put the resin on with. One is just a short bristle brush and we're going to dab the resin into the fabric. The idea is to get the resin through the fabric and onto the guitar body so it actually sticks to the body. Um, and then any excess will scrape off or we'll go over with a, a scraper just to get rid of any excess. And we've taped the sides and we've also taped the neck pocket just to make sure that we don't get too much of the resin everywhere. So I'm just going to pour a little bit on to start with. And then we'll just carefully pop it onto the guitar. Now the one thing you don't want to do is get a lot of air bubbles. So what we've done with this fabric is we've ironed it first and then that just helps to keep it a little bit more stiff. So it doesn't move too much. I'll go from one side to the other. Just look out where the cavity is. So our cavity is here. So I'll just put a little bit on that side there. Just to stick it down so that it doesn't move too much around. And that'll just adhere it to the body a little bit for us. Okay, so I'll continue doing this and we'll come back and have a look. So now we've covered the entire body um, just with a light coat of resin and you'll find if you've got cavities in here already, obviously it's easy to do it before you have cavities in the guitar. But if you have the cavities already there, you will find that the fabric will actually move into the cavities a little bit. So if you then get your scraper, you can actually move your fabric around a little bit using the scraper and getting it into the position that you really want it. So you're basically just dragging it across just so that you're covering your edges. And um, just be careful you don't get any bubbles in it as you're doing it. a nice even coat all the way through. As I said, one thing you don't want is bubbles. So it's just a matter of working the material, the finer material stretches a little bit once it's wet. Now we are going to actually come back on this guitar and we're going to run a router here and we're going to round over the edge. So if we don't get quite to the edge on this, it's not such a problem. Uh, we will be rounding that over anyway. And what some people do when they do this, they then go and put a burst around the edge to hide the edges a little bit more. We'll just see how we go with this. Just need a little bit more. Now with most of this resin, there's a few different types available. This one's a bit of a green resin, so it's changed the colour of the fabric. You can get clearer resins as well. I just haven't been able to find any of the clear stuff. But um, it will change colour as it dries as well. And as you can see, pretty much got a full cover over the guitar. There's a couple little spots there that are a little bit lighter in colour, so that we know there's not enough resin there in there and just make sure it's all sitting down on the edges. Now what you'll find is that with different fabrics you'll actually see the timber underneath. Now I'm not really worried with this because the timber is basswood and it's a light brown colour and the background of this fabric is light brown so we'll probably find that we'll be able to see the actual grain lines of the of the timber through here. That's fine for this one. Okay, so it's been a few hours now and it's it's not perfectly dry, but um, it is tacked off. So what we're going to do now is you'll just see I've started to do this. I've just started to cut the fabric away out of, um, cut the fabric away out of the cavities. Now I did fill the cavities with just some tissue paper. Um, the reason for that is when we were putting the fabric on the guitar, I didn't really want it um, sort of bowing into the cavities. You can see a cavity here, 
and it's pretty much flush, you know, it's not really pouring into the cavity, which it will do. So, if you're using it on a guitar body that has cavities, I would just um, fill out the cavities a little bit, and then put the fabric on, and then cut your cavities out, or cut the fabric away from the cavity. Instead of trying to cut holes for the cavity, and then putting the fabric on, it's just way too hard. So this is the easiest way to do it. So I'll just keep continuing now with a razor blade going around the edges here. So here we are with a second coat of epoxy on here and I'll just get in a little bit closer. Hopefully it'll keep in focus. Um, you can actually see there are no bubbles at all on the surface. So what we need to do now is we need to come around and we'll go through the edge here and we'll run a router and it'll just route the edges for us and uh, clean it all up and then we'll sand it back a little bit and then we'll uh, look at putting a clear coat on. So this will give you a, a little bit of an idea of what the roundover looks like. So we haven't rounded over this section through here. We've started from here and we've just evened up that edge if you come around you'll see we stopped around about here so we'll continue to round over the rest of that edge and we'll clean up the guitar so we'll pull back and give you an idea of what it looks like so far so that's the round over now completed we've gone all the way around the outside so now we'll go back with sandpaper and we'll just smooth all that out and um, I've rounded over the back of the body as well as you can see that there's a little bit of tear out of grind through here, so we'll just sand all that back. And then once we can, once we finish doing that, uh, we'll go through and we will um, we will colour the sides as well. So we'll put the stain on the sides of the guitar, and we'll run the stain tip and over. We'll run the stain up until the front here as well, and then we'll pop some lacquer on. So this is what we look like after we've put on one coat. Um, of lacquer. It's a pre-catalyzed lacquer. It's called Mericat that I use. So that's got one coat of lacquer over it. Now it's going to need multiple coats but um, as you can see we've got quite a bit of shine off the gun there and the colour has actually come up quite nicely as well. Uh, it's really brought out the the reds and the, the blues and the yellows in those skulls. And I'll just flip it over and show you the back. Um, it's had a coat on the side, so you can see it's a bit dimply, which is expected with that type of finish to start with. And then the back, again, you can see the shine off the back there. Now you'll see a couple of little spots on there. What we need to do is we need to go over this and just scuff it back with um, 400, just very lightly and then uh, put more coats on. And we'll probably put about half a dozen coats of lacquer on this over a period of time over the next few days. And um, then let it dry for a few days and then we can buff it all back. And you can see the shine there. There's quite a bit of shine off the gun with this particular lacquer. But uh, you can see there's no bubbles or anything on there. It's all nice and flat. And it's actually quite a hard surface too. All right.